So the first thing in distinguishing the patients who will benefit is to identify the venous stenosis. So for you know the medical students who are in the audience, um, there is a deep venous drainage system and a superficial one. And the superficial one is, is where the sinuses are. And there's a superior sagittal sinus and these drain into the transverse sinuses bilaterally into the sigmoid sinuses and down into the jugular bulb and the internal jugular vein. And in this picture, it looks like, you know, everything is really equal and perfectly uh, symmetrical. But what we do know is that the venous system is highly variable and there's a lot of anatomical variation between people. So you may see a picture like B or C and think, oh, well, there's venous stenosis on the left here, or there's, you know, uh, a venous occlusion on the left there, but actually, um, it's very common for patients to have uh, right-sided dominant venous sinuses. In fact, 43% of people seem to be right transverse sinus dominant with only a third of patients being co-dominant and then a minority of patients being left-sided dominant. In general, males tend to have larger uh, severe sagittal sinus and dominant transverse sinus uh, absolute calibers when compared to females. And then uh, many patients or 10% of patients have what's called a bifid superior sagittal sinus where rather than um, a single sort of torcula, they can have a triangular division of the posterior superior sagittal sinus um, of varying heights. 